Anyone misrepresenting Harrison Bucker's commencement speech needs to get off my lawn. Give me, give me, give. I could talk about the various topics of Harrison's now viral address for hours, and most people would engage in a nuanced and constructive manner, but I'll keep my thoughts as concise as possible. Firstly, regardless of opinion on the substance, this was a masterclass in speech giving. For those who only absorb 20 second social media clips, I encourage you to watch the entire 20 minutes. Here is a man who is not confused, nor conflicted. He does not answer to the Kansas City Chiefs or the NFL, but only to God. Second, if you must misrepresent Harrison's comments with immature and inaccurate quips such as, this kicker thinks all women belong in the kitchen, then you've already lost whatever argument you're trying to make and seem to be projecting your own insecurity on these topics. And if your advice to Mr. Bucker is, it's 2024, read the room, just know he delivered a pro-Catholic message at a Catholic institution. He did read the room and he got a standing ovation. Lastly, since a change.org petition has been started in an attempt to get Harrison fired from the NFL, I'd like to play a few videos from NFL players that never resulted in any such public outcry. Ordinarily, I would not show content this graphic, but it seems some more need to learn a lesson. So please play the clip of Ray Rice knocking his fiance unconscious. This behavior resulted in a two-game suspension from the NFL prior to the video becoming public. That's half as many games as Tom Brady received for preferring footballs slightly deflated. How about the video of former NFL running back Zach Stacy throwing his girlfriend into a television while his five-month-old son looks on? I don't remember seeing a viral petition to get Zach banned from the league. No, that's reserved for a guy who is so moved at the thought of his wife becoming a mother that he tears up while speaking. Only in a clown world could we condemn the words of this Chiefs player at graduation while applauding his teammate chugging a beer at graduation. So if you're someone helping to perpetuate that clownish and degenerate behavior, then you need to get off my lawn. Mm, that boy, David. Yeah! 100%. It's amazing. Again, and my whole thing is he didn't go to a ball game. This wasn't Pride Night where the public has to go endure this. He did it at a Catholic institution that invited him to speak. He's not on the sidewalk with a microphone and a sign. He's literally at a place he was invited to where a lot of people share his, his uh, views and beliefs. So I think you're spot on. The hypocrisy is just sickening. And if you're too stupid to understand the difference between what Harrison Butker was saying and thinking he was meaning that women shouldn't try and pursue a career or anything like that, then maybe you shouldn't have a driver's license and or operate any heavy machinery while other people are around. Yeah, That's it was the way sad to see because I feel like if we sat down with Harrison Butker, we would have like, a fantastic two-hour conversation on all the topics that he hit in that speech, and not all of us would agree it on just, all the topics, it, it's, right? That's what makes it great. Yeah, that's it's just sad that, that it's gotten to this point. YouTube, what's up? I know y'all loving the new time. We are too. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Keep sharing the show. Y'all know what's about to go down when football season comes here too. Y'all know what's up.